What's up guys, welcome to Dub and Dad Gaming and today my dad will be giving you guys more tips for beginners. Why don't you give them tips for beginners? Well, I don't do arena. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding aside. So, um, the first uh, the first video we made a few weeks ago, um, there was a bunch of other stuff that I just remembered and one of our uh, subscribers even told us that we missed something with the mastery. So I kind of decided... Um, to make yet another video. If we're talking about beginner masteries, we might have to switch to my account. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, the first one is, because I'm a free-to-play player, as you guys know already, um, you have to plan out the quest that you want to do. You so, have to pull out the Brian Grant. So I'm not kidding. I have to plan this out because I don't have a lot of units, especially when this uh, event quest started. Um, I, I was literally wiped out because we I just had 100% uh, Act 5 and did Cavalier. So um, I started with Normal, then Heroic, then slowly built my way up to Master. And then when I had a little bit of a stash going, um, went ahead and did a uh, um, uncollected obviously so that's the first one you have to plan it out like um, I have 16 days and 19 hours so the plan is since, since I'm done with the monthly event quest it's gonna move on to northern, uh, northern expedition 100% that and then if I have still have stuff remaining <sighs> Oh my god, am I that boring? No, I'm, I'm not a beginner, bro. No, I'm <laughs> so if I still have any units left, um, we'll go for back issues. Okay, um, some variant. Back issues is variants for those who don't know. Okay, um, and another question that we normally get a lot is, should I 100% act for or go for uncollected? Me and Dub, our recommendation would be after you do um, Act 4, because the, the rewards now are pretty, like the Tier 2 Alphas well, and why stuff. Don't, why don't you go to that? Yeah, they're, they're pretty easy to get now, okay? So our recommendation would be to go through Act 4 and then go ahead and get... I mean, the rewards are good, okay? Like th 4 Tier 2 Alphas, but here's the thing with Act 4. It is super long even with the reduced energy requirements yeah, you're going to it's gonna take it's a lot long. of energy so refills get through um app four then go ahead go straight to uncollected yeah that's our thing um because right yeah here. well it really uh, it also depends on your skill level okay but and the champs you have the thing with the collector it's there are some champs that can you know withstand him and stuff but that will last longer but not really. yeah but normally the the main uh strategy for the collector is unit man yeah yeah which is just to you know throw units <laughs> at him until he dies basically so it's just like if you're gonna kill me i'm gonna die with a lot of units J just get to uncollected that's that's our yeah. uh recommendation because once you get to uncollected you could go back to act for 100 percent that yeah. Get your first rank four or five. Exactly. Star. There you go. Um, Dub was able to get uncollected with a bunch of rank four. Uh, four stars. Four stars. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was bad. brutal, but it's doable. I had one unit to spare. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he beat collector. That was clutch. Um, so that's the second one. So the first one was to plan. Number two, go ahead and get uncollected right away. Number three. So for the masteries. Um, I think I should be watching this part. Yeah, because the so the first masteries that you guys should get is um, dexterity and parry. parry. I don't care what you get afterwards, but th the <laughs> moment the moment you can get these, get parry and dexterity. It will change how you play in the game pretty much. I didn't realize that there was um, dexterity until I was like level 40 something. Yeah, I think it was level 47. Yeah, I was in AQ and getting killed by the Thor um, mini boss. Yeah, that couldn't was, uh, evade the special too. I'm like, <laughs> how are you guys evading the special too? Ah, uh, there's a mastery called dexterity. <laughs> and the entire time I didn't parry and I was pretty much like intercepting all the fights. I think he should have stuck with that because now with parry his skill went away. Ooh, so like wow yeah so that's number three for masteries 
Parry and dexterity. Hold on, I'm gonna call the next one. What? Buy energy refills. No. Don't buy crystals. No, we already <laughs> mentioned that. <laughs> so um, number four is in the loyalty store. You guys see this four star and five star unstoppable colossus. Look at these trophy champs. Uh, I want to have them in my uh, roster. Don't go for them until. Not really, because look at that eight hundred thousand loyalty, three hundred sixty-five thousand loyalty. Do you know how much boost you can get with that stuff? Exactly. So, one of the things that we use a lot for Act 4 and Act 5, especially Act 5 and Act 6, was boosts. Like, you can get all these boosts from the loyalty store. And th I think these cost like 100 units. Yeah. It costs a quite a number of units. And then also, not just that, um, if you're into war, use the loyalty to get these boosts. War boost, yeah, the combat rege uh, regeneration, the invulnerability boost and stuff. Very helpful. In my old account, I had 5-star Punisher, 5-star Iron Fist, all those trophy champs. Did, did it look good? Yeah. Did I use any of them? No. No. Did they go to rank 2? Yes. yes. Did they go anywhere else? No. <laughs> oh, it was pretty much for Arena. No, so they do have use. Arena. Oh points. my god. I mean, but the, the amount of loyalty that you're going to use. Like, I made a, a video a long time ago on what to get in the loyalty store. The and only time it's not yeah. Unstoppable Colossus, okay? Do not get Unstoppable Colossus. Yeah, the only time you get Unstoppable Colossus is when you're pretty much done with everything. Yeah, yeah, but... If you're into war or if you're trying to get a lot of content done and you don't have the um, god tier champions or high rank champions, you have to boost the hell out of them. And boosting is going to cost units, so why just not use loyalty instead of units? It's free, <laughs> yeah, basically. There you go. And number five, I think. Look at these. This is the lifeblood of every oh, free-to-play yes. player. May I put in here that uh, before this video, yeah. this dude was leveling up a three-star blade for 25 units. So here's the thing. It's 25. I know. It's only 25 <laughs> units. <laughs> I'm done. Wow. Says the guy who doesn't do any arena in it and that buys pretty much all <sighs> his units. Okay. So <sighs> look. There is a level one revive and 25 units. So just get to, what is that again? Let me see that. I can't believe th these have not changed in five years. And I still the same rewards. Just get to the um, rank for uh, fourth tier. What's in the fifth tier? Um, is there like a six stone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Well, uh, those those shards, are, those shards right there. If this was a five one. star um, signature, so maybe, but. Anyway, so that's so I always get these um, to get these rewards, except when it's event quest completion. But if it's arena, if it's level up, if it's hero use, nah, if it's arena, I'm I know, not, we know, I'm we know. Any. So, but you guys are probably thinking, but it's only twenty five units and a free uh, and a twenty percent revive. The thing is, that's forty units right there. I I'm free to play, man. Yeah. Like I'm not, you know. If I have you're not to... free to play, then. You're fine. Yeah. You don't have to do these. But Yeah, if you just wanna maximize like the rewards here. Um Those rewards are still super outdated. Yeah, it's super <laughs> outdated, but still, I mean it's better than nothing. That's why I said like especially for me, I have to plan everything. Which sucks. Guys, behind the scenes he has like twenty million spreadsheets. He's just like, I must do uncollected <laughs> ten million times a day. That will take uh, according to my calculation, <laughs> 700 energy. <laughs> you know, that's probably true. But <laughs> In his head, he's like, yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> I'm just having trouble with these new champions, but man, um, everything that... When we left the game a year and a half ago, everything's pretty much the same. Um, and then lastly, going back to that loyalty thing, when with, with Dub, when he did uncollect, uh, when he got the uncollected tile, he did it with rank four four stars. Okay, granted he had like guillotine and Doctor Doom. Are you? No. Oh no no no! It was uh, it was guillotine. <laughs> no. And Aegon, right? No, I didn't have any. That was Ooh. before the arena. Oh, it was Captain Marvel. It was Captain movie. Marvel. Yes. And Wasp. Captain Marvel was my only rank four. Okay. And Gwenpool. That's it. And then when me and Dub went for Cavalier. I, we had one rank five, five star. Oh, star. 
Um, so basically, I had to boost the crash. So I was basically using. So that that's the last tip. Use boost. I was using the attack boost. I was using the health boost, and then to top it all off. I was using another attack yeah. and health boost. And he's saying use boost, but don't use boost in like beginner. Or of so. course, don't do not do that, okay? But when you're going for the harder content and you don't have a lot of items or units, you have to boost. It'll save or, don't, you or just don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll save you so much. It'll save you so much items. So there you go. There's another six tips that I remembered. If you guys remember anything more, uh, just put it in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new.